Hi, my name is Prasenjit and I work for BMC Atrium Orchestrator product. This is part one of a two-part video series on how to integrate Active Directory with Atrium SSO so your AD users can log in to BMC Atrium Orchestrator using their existing AD account. Let's start with what is Active Directory and why do we need to integrate it with BMC Atrium Orchestrator. Active Directory is basically a directory services developed by Microsoft for Windows domain networks and is often included with most of the Windows Server operating system. In short, it's a central database which stores user information to authenticate and assign proper permissions to them. Integrating AD with BAO will allow the AD users to log into Atrium Orchestrator using their existing AD accounts. In BAO, Atrium SSO is used to handle the authentication and authorization services. So in this video, we'll be configuring SSO to talk to our Active Directory. Before starting, one important thing to make note of is users and group cannot be managed from the BMC Atrium single sign-on server because the LDAP server access is read-only. Now let's do a quick demo. This is my SSO server. Let's log into the SSO console using the admin credential. Once logged in, click the Edit BMC Realm. Now, under the Realm Authentication, click the Add button. Select the LDAP Active Directory as the authentication type. This is the LDAP Active Directory Editor. For the name field, you need to provide the name of your primary LDAP server. Next is the port. The default port is 389, but in case your setup is using a different port, enter the appropriate port number over here. Use SSL. Selecting this checkbox will allow ASSO to use SSL when connecting to the LDAP server. However, before enabling this, the certificate for the LDAP server must be imported into the JVM Trust Store and the Tomcat Trust Store. This section is for the secondary LDAP server. If you have one, provide the details in here. The next field is the distinguished name or DN. It's the login name used to connect to the LDAP server. The username specified here must have the privilege to perform search operation within the Active Directory and should have read-only access to read the list of AD users. Let's quickly go to the Active Directory server to check the user details. This is my Active Directory server. Let's expand this. Now expand the user section. I have this user account with the name SSO service account which has the required permissions to search the Active Directory and read the user list. On the right hand side we can see all the attributes. Over here we have the distinguished name. Let's double click it and copy the values. Now go back to the Atrium SSO server. Paste the distinguished name over here. Type in the password for this user account. Next, we have the attributes for user search and base DN. For base DN, you need to specify the starting location within the LDAP directory for performing the user and group searches. Let's quickly go to the Active Directory server to see these details. Let's close this. All our user accounts are residing under this user node. So this will be our base DN for performing any searches. On the right hand side, double click the distinguished name and copy the value. Also, if we click any of the user accounts, the SAM account name over here, this attribute holds our user's username. Let's go back to the SSO server. Paste the base DN over here. Next is the attribute for user profile name. 
In our case, this will be the SAM account name, as SAM account name is the parameter which holds our usernames in the AD environment. For the attribute for user search as well, we need to provide the same parameter. Paste it in here and hit the save button. In the next part of this video series, we'll see how to create an Active Directory user store in SSO and we'll validate our integration using an AD account to log into BMC HM Orchestrator.